Well, hi there, it's Sandy Ulnock, artist and paper crafter here with a quick video to create sea foam using Zig Clean color markers and the new stamp from Ellen Hudson called Inner Mermaid. And it's got a mermaid tail, it's got some seashells and things, but it also has some fun sentiments that are a blast to use. And what I've done is stamped the mermaid tail, but I wiped off before I finished stamping, I wiped off that end so that she can be kind of diving into the foam and then I have my sentiment down below. And I'm taking advantage of the fact that I have dry markers. And I've done a little bit of this before on YouTube, so if this is not a new technique to you, then I apologize, but I thought it would be a great use for this. I'm going to create a couple of, I guess, shapes of white color. And white has color in it. Yes, it does. If you're talking about something like this, where there's a lot of foam on it, then there's going to be some dark shapes you need to create for their to look like there's white. And I'm using the side of the brush marker and kind of sketching over the top of the rough watercolor paper. And the rougher the better for this particular technique. But notice that I don't get much color out of this 036. It's about dead. So in order to get some more color out of it, I can dip it in water and get some more color. And it doesn't get a lot more color out, but it helps me to spread it more. And now I'm getting a little up little softer of a look and not that sharp hard edge but I like the two of them together beside each other so that I get both the soft and the hard edge for my watercolor and I'm using a bunch of different colors as well you can use any blues I've got them listed on the screen but you can use any of them you can leave off the darkest one if that scares you and just throw in some shapes and I'm making almost scallop shapes in a couple of areas and then leaving some white areas. Don't try to fill in every square inch or then it'll look like she's got blue foam, but you want to have enough so it looks like there's shadows behind each one of the poofs of foam. And you can even use a duller type of blue. You can use a grays. Lots of different ways you can do that and mix the colors together. I'm using this color to kind of mix a few of those darks together as well and soften up some of those areas. And it's, it's like the easiest thing in the world to do once you realize that you just need to put down some color and not fill the whole page. The, the stopping is the important part of this because it's really easy to go just slightly too far. So I'm going to finish up with a grayish color on the very outside and then start to work on my rainbow mermaid tail. And I'm going to use a couple different colors on her so I can go from green out at the tips of her, her little tail and then start moving down. I do make a mistake in here, but I'm going to let you see the recovery of the mistake. I use this 052, which I think of as like best yellow ever because it's like my favorite yellow color. But that color is going to mix terribly into that lemony yellow color. So I used a regular yellow to blend that in and then started moving down into the reds and the oranges and stuff down below. And I even had to go back in with that yellow again and smooth some things out a little bit and then work my way back into the tail. I didn't use too much of the blue, just a little bit enough to tie it to the rainbow and then went right back into the greens and start working my way down into the lights and then let that light color sort of fade off into the rest of that sea foam. So super easy and super quick to do. For those of you who like to make really fast cards, this one is an easy one. And then I just trimmed it down to stick it onto a panel and called it finished. Very sweet, very summery, and hopefully a good treat for World Watercolor Month. So all month long, I'm on Instagram and Facebook doing little 30 second videos. Be sure to check those out and I will see you again in a couple days with another new video for World Watercolor Month. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.